Hello and welcome to Poor Academy. Index number and now I am here again with a new method and that is known as Marshall and Edgeworth index number. Yes, as we are well aware that Pache and Fisher index numbers consider only say base year quantity and current year quantity only and from Fisher's index number we started considering the say quantities for both the years base year as well as current year Fisher's index number is geometric mean of last pair and passe index number and Dorbish and Pauli index number is simple arithmetic mean of last pair and passe index numbers but in case of Marshall and Edward index number it is somewhat different Marshall and Edgeworth actually suggested that at the time of constructing index number we should consider the simple arithmetic mean of quantity of base year and current year as weight so in that case it is something like this So, sigma IW in case of that is something like this. If we substitute this interpretation of weight and simplify the formula for two or more items, ultimately we get this formula. So, I suggest you to use this formula because this formula makes the calculation of index number quite easier instead of this indirect formula calculate the index number of Marshall and Edgeworth through this formula because again in this formula also we need to have this same four columns which we need to calculate last pair's index number, passes index number Fisher's index number and Dorbish and Bowley index number. The same four columns. Yes? So the working part remains the same. So in case, in, a, in your examination, if you are asked to calculate Fisher's, Dorbish and Bowley and Marshall Edgeworth index numbers, then also you will have to prepare this one table only and you will be able to calculate all these three index numbers easily. Yes? Yeah. But one thing that is actually different from Fisher's index number as well as Dorbish and Pauli index number is that here we are not required to calculate geometric mean or simple arithmetic mean of last pair and passe index numbers. So we cannot calculate Marshall and Edgeworth index number directly on the basis of our calculations of last pair and passe index number. Marshall and Edgeworth index number we have to calculate separately through its own formula only. We just have this simplified version of formula. Okay? Let's calculate. See, first and third column, second and fourth column according to this order of the columns. Sigma P1Q 2040.90 plus Sigma P1Q1 3180.25 current year prices always remain in the numerator sigma p o q o 1610.55 plus 2507.15 that is sigma p o q 1 okay the summation of these two comes to thousand forty point nine plus three thousand one hundred eighty point two five so it comes to 5221.15 and the summation of denominator comes to 1610.55 plus 2507.15 so it is 1610.55 there was an error in typing 
2507.15 okay it comes to 4117.7 and into 100 so it comes to 5221.15 divided by 4117.7 uh, there are some drawbacks of using mobile calculator but the biggest gain is it is always handy with us so ultimately index number of Marshall and Edgeworth comes to 126.80 so in this way we learnt how to find index number of Marshall and Edgeworth so we learned five different types of weighted index numbers last pairs index number Parsons index number fisher's index number dorbish and bowley index number marshall and edgeworth index number and i used the same case or same problem to learn the calculations of all these five index numbers so that you can compare all the index number for the same data and that is very useful in understanding similarities and differences between the different index numbers. I also suggest you to calculate all these five index numbers for the same data at least in four or five different cases while you are practicing at your home. That will be very much useful to you in understanding all the concepts. Yes. And I am very much sure that this lecture was also useful to you in understanding everything I discussed. And don't forget to like this lecture. Also visit my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe it. To reach my YouTube channel just go to search bar in the YouTube channel and type PRSHNTPUAAR. That will actually, I mean you will reach my channel. And also don't forget to suggest my videos, my channel, because there is something useful for everyone there, whether studying or not. So that's it now. In the coming lectures, we are going to discuss time reversal test, factor reversal test and typical different kinds of problems, etc. And also I am starting new series on other lectures on statistics and other subjects also. Yes, that's it for now. Thank you very much and take care.